Welcome to Job Seeker Module 3, How to Post a Job. First, go to jobseeker.org.au and then log in. If you need to create an account or you have forgotten your password, please see Module 1 and 2. Once you have entered your account details, click Log In. And then click here, Want to Post a Job. You have the option of selecting the type of ad you want, a standard, promoted featured or premium featured, or else you can pre-purchase JobSeeker credit packages. Pre-purchasing credits saves you the hassle of needing to enter your billing details every time you want to post a job, and by buying in bulk you receive a discount on the regular pr price of posting a job, saving you time and money. Today we are going to post a standard job. Next you have to enter in your job details. Anywhere where there's a red asterisk means that, that this is compulsory. So I've entered some job details. You can choose up to three um, categories under employment sector. Choose your work type, um, enter your organisation and the closing date. Now the closing date can be up to 30 days away. However, if you do want to make it before that, then you can choose the calendar and select the date you want. Next, you enter your street address and suburb. This will show up on the job ad as a Google Maps image. Enter your state, your region, country, summary, and job details. Next, you can upload a product position description by selecting Choose File. Select the file and then Upload. Same with the logo, Choose File, select your logo, Upload. Next, you can select your salary range. Now, this will be what displays on your ad. So if you want, don't want your salary displayed, then don't enter anything. But if you do, then enter your salary here. Next, you can choose the op enter your contact details. You have two options for applicants. They can either um, apply via your email or via your own site. So first of all, choose the option you want, then enter your details. Today we have chosen for the applicants to send them their applications via email. However, if you do enter a website as well, that will also show on your um, job ad. So next choose the payment amount. So we're a community org, so we choose the $60. However, if you are not a community org, such as a government department, advertising agency or recruitment agency, you're required to pay the $100 amount. So proceed to billing. Next, you have to enter your billing details. And also you have an option of adding an extra email here and your own purchase number if you'd like the email uh, invoice to be sent to another email as, as opposed to the one that's um, connected to your account. So you can pay for your order by either selecting an invoice that will be sent to your email or credit card. The other option is if you have pre-purchased JobSeeker credits, there will also be an option to use these credits as payment. If you pay by credit card, you'll receive a loyalty reward of two credits per ad posted. It requires a total of 24 credits to post a standard job. Once you have enough credits in your account, you can use these to purchase a job ad for free. So today we want to select an invoice. There is also an option to enter a promotion coupon code if you have one. If not, skip this step, step and click continue. So now we have a summary of your order. If you're happy with it, click Submit Order. An email with an invoice and order confirmation will be sent to your email and your order number is here. To view your job ad, click Post to Jobs and then select the title of the job and you'll see the completed ad here. Here you can see your logo, the apply button, your position description, your map, so the location of your organisation, and the categories and the work type. Congratulations, you have posted a job on JobSeeker.